Hey, Jonathan, how are you? I'm doing good, and you? Doing well, thank you. Um, I wanted to start with a quick question. What did you think of your teammate Chris Gutierrez saying recently, hey, I went out there and I avenged my teammates' loss to Andre Ewell? That was, that was pretty good. You know, it was exciting. You know, it's like a t- good teammate and a best friend. So it was pretty awesome to see that. Was that something you guys talked about? Like, hey, man, like, I'm going to get him for you. Don't worry. And anything like that? Yeah, he kept telling me that. Like, when he got the call, he told me, hey, I'm going to get him for you. And I was like, all right, good job. I hear you. Um, what are your thoughts on David Grant as an opponent? Oh, he's an exciting fighter. He's a tough fighter. And, you know, I'm just ready to go out there and show my skills and stuff. My final question, just what are your goals for 2021? climb the rankings you know top 15 or top 10 hopefully and you know just keep climbing hey thank you jonathan good luck thank you we'll take our next set of questions from jordan ellis with loki canada you said then about uh, day hello oh hello hello can you hear me yes Hi. Um, so you just said that about Davey being a great fighter, a good fighter. How do you see yourself getting it done on fight night? Uh, my hand raised. I don't know how, but, you know, my hand raised. I trained real hard for this fight, so I'm just ready to go out there. And last time you competed at Bantamweight, you didn't actually make the weight. So what, what steps have gone in place to make sure that that doesn't happen again for this one? I had some issues and stuff and then some injuries, but, you know, I'm good now and I'll be making the weight and stuff. So, so besides injuries and things like that, you're pretty comfortable with bantamweight, and this is where we can expect you to stay. Yeah, moving yeah, forward. Yes, sir. And and just what do you make of um, Sean O'Malley fighting Thomas O'Malley? or someone you're just coming off a win against? That'd be a good matchup, you know. I'm just excited to see that fight too. See how it goes. Okay, thank you for your time. Good luck with fight night. We'll take our last set of questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. Oh, man, you've you had a pretty busy 2020. A lot of fighters, you know, had a lot here in 2020. How important was it for you to make sure you about those three? Uh, it was really important, you know, just going in there and, you know, staying healthy and stuff, you know, some fights and just going in there and performing and stuff. When you've been more active, you know, yeah, I feel I feel good. I feel real good, and you know, just just climbing up. You know. A guy like Thomas Almeida isn't isn't a guy that's lived in the ring for quite a while. Um, would would that win me anything extra? Like, hey, I'm, I'm getting close to these rankings. Yeah, sh- yeah, sure. Every fight I think is you know a tough fight for me. You know, just different name so you see your, your opponent is a hard fight for me excited to put on uh, in terms of a show and your skill set and show people about your game you haven't seen before yeah maybe you'll see something different this saturday you know i don't know and my last question is a big win for you at this point Arrow, what do you think that does for you in terms of where you want to be in your goal well, honestly hopefully just climb this ladder you know what i mean like 2020, you know, it's, hopefully it's going to be my, my year and stuff, and then go from there. That's all we have for you today, Jonathan. Thank you.